Okay, so you are headed to the EWR airport. EWR is the airport code for the Newark Liberty International Airport. This airport is located in the state of New Jersey, but is very close to New York City. And that's the reason why very often airlines are gonna offer to you this airport as an option when you are traveling to New York City. In this video, I'm gonna show you the transportation options you are gonna have to go from the EWR airport to your final destination, New York City. Let me remark with this blue color. So your origin is gonna be the airport and your final destination, New York City. Basically, you are gonna have the following three options. Option number one, as usual, you are going to have the option to take a taxi or a cab. Option number two is gonna be to take the train. And finally, the third option for you it's gonna be to take the bus. So if you decide to go and take a taxi, this is gonna be for you a non-stop trip. If you have heavy baggage with you, maybe the taxi is gonna be the best option for you because it's more comfortable but you have to know that this is going to be also the most expensive option for you right okay so if you go by taxi you can go to different places in new york city let's say you can go wherever you want the far you go, the more you pay. That's clear. Now, let's move to the train. If you decide to use the train, you'll have one stop before you reach your final destination. You will have to transfer from the first train to the second train at link the station okay the second train is gonna finish in new york city at penn station penn station is usually very crowded because it's located just below the madison square garden stadium you have to go downstairs in order to get to the station and also from there you will be able to access the metro network the mta subway in case you have to go to a different place so let me complete the last option the bus you will also have one stop if you decide to use the bus for the bus you'll have to transfer at newark penn station yes you heard that right penn station this penn station is located in new jersey and this penn station is located in new york I know that the first time is a little bit confusing, but now you know that we have two Penn stations, one in New Jersey and one in New York. Okay, so the second bus is gonna finish in New York City at the port 
authority bus terminal. Inside this terminal, there is a well-known statue called the commuters. The commuters are very often used as a meeting point. So, if you have to meet with somebody in New York City, you can say, hey, let's meet inside the Port Authority bus terminal at the commuters, right? From this, from this terminal, you will also have access to the MTA subway. Okay, now let's put more details to the second option, the train. The first train you have to take is called the air train. This is actually an airport train. It's a small train, actually it's a monorail train that is used mostly to move people from one terminal to the other inside the airport. But also, it is the one you have to take to go to the link station. I'm gonna show you later how this works. The second train you have to take is called North Jersey Coastline. This train actually is part of the New Jersey public transport system. So I'm gonna show you late in the computer the timetable. Because if you arrive to the airport late at night, you will have to wait until the next day, early in the morning, for the personnel to start the working day. Okay, the air train runs 24-7 every, let's say, 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so let me put these details for the buses. The first bus you have to take is bus number 62 and the second bus number 108. Both buses, both lines, belongs to the New Jersey public transport system and they run 24-7 and the frequency depends on the time of the day. Let me show you because I have here the printed version for the timetables for these two lines 62 and 108. You can get these timetables inside the bus. That's what I did. But the timetables are also available on the website for you to download. So don't worry for the time tables. Okay, now let's talk about how long it takes for each of these options. The first option is going to be the fastest one. Let's say that in normal traffic condition, it could take approximately 30 minutes. Okay, now let's move to the train. The first train, the air train, usually takes approximately 15 minutes. The second train, approximately 45 minutes. So, if we add, we are talking about a one hour trip, approximately. So, it's gonna be one hour or so. This is just an estimation. Now, what about the buses? The first bus, line 62, usually take 30 minutes. Again, depending on the traffic condition and the time of the day. The second bus, number 108, 
approximately one hour and a half. Again, depending on the traffic conditions and the time of the day. So, if we add, we are talking about a two hours trip, approximately. So, two hours or so. Okay. So, now that you have the big picture, let's move to the computer because I have some pictures and also some videos that I want to share with you so you can get familiar with these three options beforehand. So, let's move to the computer now. Okay, here we are. As you can see in the map, the Newark Liberty International Airport is really close to New York. Let me show you here in the Manhattan Island where is located the Penn Station. You probably know that Penn Station is the short name for Pennsylvania Station. Here you can see. Let me use the satellite view and also the 3D view so you can see the Madison Square Garden. As you can see the building is, is really beautiful. In order to get to the Penn Station you have to go downstairs. Remember that. Let me go back to the 2D version of the map because I also want to show you where is located the Port Authority bus terminal. It's really close. You can walk to the Port Authority bus terminal. It's located in the intersection of the 8th Avenue and the 42nd Street. Here we are. Let me use a street view so you can see the Port Authority bus terminal. This is the building. Inside this building you will find the statue of the commuters. This is the statue I was talking about before. Okay. The good thing about the Port Authority bus terminal is that it is located really really close to the famous Times Square. You can walk through the 42nd Street from the 8th Avenue to the 7th Avenue and then go north up to the 47th Street. Let me use a street view once again so you can see Times Square. This is one of the most famous places in the world and that's the reason why you can see people all over the place. Okay. Now let's go back to our business. Here I have, as I promise, the links for the timetables. This one is for the North Jersey coastline. This one is for the bus number 62. I'm gonna put these links in the video description for you. And this one is for the bus number 108. Okay, now let me show you inside the airport. First, let's start with the taxi. Taxi, here you can see the ticket cost for the taxi. It really depends on where are you going. So, it goes from 50 to 70 dollars. I have already complete the big picture. I already put here the ticket prices. So for the taxi, 70 dollars. For the train, 13 dollars. And for the bus, the cheapest option, 7 dollars and 60 cents. So, let me show you why the train is gonna cost 
13 dollars let me show you here inside the airport you are gonna find the ticket vending machines this is the first screen this is the second screen third screen and here you can see both Penn Station the one in New York and the one in Newark Newark is a city in New Jersey next screen you have to select the option you want let's say you are an adult and you need a one-way ticket and finally you will see here the price 13 dollars okay now let me show you how you can get to the air train it's really easy because the airport is full of signs all over the place this is a good one here you can see that the air train allows you to move from one terminal to the other and the last station here is the link station okay inside the airport you are gonna see lots of signs for example this one air train this one air train this one as, as I told you if you take the air train you can go from one terminal to the other and also you can go to the link station in order to transfer to another train to go to different places for example New York Newark Philadelphia Trenton etc the last picture I have here in this picture you can see that in order to get to the air train you have to go upstairs so air train I think is a good name because the train is close to the skies now let me show you the videos that I took that day that I was at the airport Okay, now the last option, let me go back to the big picture. Yeah, the bus. Let me show you why the bus is gonna cost $7.60. You can see the prices in the time table. Let me go back to the browser so I can show you the prices here. For example, bus number 62. If you go down here, you can see the fares, cash fares. So for an adult, it's going to cost $1.60. Pay attention because these buses, the machines, the ticket vending machines inside the bus are exact fare. So you never get any change from them you have to have the exact amount of money that is required same for the 102 here fair information this is an exact fair line so the price for an adult in this case it's gonna be six dollars so that's the reason why I told you in total for the bus you have to pay seven dollar and sixty cents okay guys what else yeah how to get to the bus I have some pictures here in order to get to the bus you have to go outside the airport 
if you are already outside the airport search or look for this stair so you can go downstairs in order to reach the lower level or level one is the same level you can use to go to the parking slot so this is a picture of the New Jersey bus as I told you the name for the New Jersey public transport is New Jersey transit now let me show you two more pictures this is exactly the bus you have to take bus number 62 the only thing you have to be careful is to be sure you take the 62 when it's going to Penn Station and not to Elizabeth let me let me show you that in the here in the timetable so you, you're gonna have two directions one is to Elizabeth and the other is to Newark this is the one you are gonna use to Newark let's say you are traveling in a weekday so you are gonna take this bus here Newark Liberty International Airport this is three reference three and you are going to Newark Penn Station so from three to one so this bus is the only is the tricky one be sure you take the 62 that goes to Newark okay guys I think that's all I think I have show you all that I wanted to show and I hope this video has been useful for you if you have any question related this particular subject please let me know in the comments of the video that's it that's all thanks for watching bye